Hi everyone, welcome to my home studio. I'm Coach Kelly. Thanks for joining me today for your workout. Today's strength hit program, we're gonna do supersets. Going from lightweight to heavier weight. So call it a slow burn. There are four rounds on each of the exercises and we'll do that extra finisher round with each of the supersets. Let's get started with the warm up, the perfect 10 move ritual warm up. Let's Thank warm up. The warm up ritual, perfect 10 moves. Setting the timer, the timer set 30 seconds workout or <laughs> 30 seconds work and five seconds between each of the 10 moves. Starting so starting session, your feet underneath your hips right there and then hold your strap in front about shoulder width apart. And then if you have a band, if you don't just mimic the movement and pull your strap apart wide. If you have one of these red bands, red spry bands, you may have to widen your grip so that you can reach your arms and they're straight and you're feeling the work. Now go a little bit lower and speed up just a hair, warming up the body. So it's a squat to start with and a pull apart, upper body and lower body. Now hold, the second move is a step rear reach forward and then turn. So this is actually warming you up for balance as you turn the arms and then warming up the legs and the trunk with that rotation. Lots of stuff going on there. Reach side and now move with a little more purpose, sweep. One more time. The third move, widen your grip. Straight arms up and over, step side, touch. Reach up and over, step side, touch. Reach up and over, touch the leg. Reach up and over, touch the leg. Reach, stretch. Stepping side, reach and touch, and then release. So release this band to the floor. Set your knee on the floor. Shift your hip forward, hand on the floor. Lizard with rotation. The hand that's on the floor, spread your fingers, reach up with one arm, look up, and then point your elbow towards the floor. Reach and point the elbow to the floor, reach and then rotate. Do it again, rotate, reach up, and then rotate. One more time. Now shift back, hamstring stretch right here, flatten your back, change sides. Opposite foot forward, shift forward, hand on the floor, reach up, and then rotate. Look up at the hand, and then rotate right there. Reach up, rotate. Spread your fingers, rotate. Reach, and then rotate. Do it again. Warming up the trunk with that rotation, your hip, your shoulder. And I'll do a brief hamstring stretch right there. And set your knee on the floor, cat, cow. Cat, and then cow. Spread your fingers and press into your hands. And you don't want your knees to be too far back. You wanna have your knees supporting your body and just round your spine as you press the hands down. Lower your belly, press the hands in towards each other. Press the hands away from each other when you round up. Lower and lift. Walk your hands forward, knees back, come all the way down to your belly. Superman, lift up and lower. Look down at your mat or the floor, lift. This time, lift up your legs, arms, chest, and reach the elbows to the sides, reach forward and lower. Up, reach, and then hold right here. Swim the arms and swim the legs. My arms and legs working in opposition. Swim the arms, swim the legs. Three, two, and one. Put your hands on the floor, come into a plank pose right here. Press your fingers down, spread your fingers to downward facing dog. 
plank to downward facing dog. Plank, downward facing dog. Plank, downward facing dog. Push the hips up and back. Press the hands into the floor. Plank, downward facing dog. Now walk your hands back to your feet. Squat and stand all the way up. Take it to a boxer shuffle. Pump your arms. Turn your heels in. Just a little bounce. And turning your hips. Bending your elbows. Slight pump in the arms. And the ninth move, number nine, jump rope. With an imaginary rope, turn your arms, and it's a little hop off the ground. Just bounce. Feel buoyant, soft knees and hips, ankles, keep going. Move number 10, jummy jacks, slow or high. Hop out and in, press your heels down. Reach the fingertips overhead, tap the sides of your legs. Up. Keep going. And you did it. Excellent work. Grab some water. Now that you're warmed up, let's be begin the workout. We're going to start with our lightest weight. My lightest weight is going to be 10s. And I'm moving up to 20 pound weights. Maybe you're starting at fives and go up in increments from there, four increments. Wherever you're starting, at the last round, I want you to be at the heaviest weight. So this is a, there are nine cycles. We're alternating two moves for four rounds. And then there's a bonus or a finisher round at the end where we're combining the two moves together. So superset and then a combination move at the end. Let's start with the lightest weight. I'm grabbing my tens. Goblet squat, turn your toes out, just at a slight angle, bend your knees the same direction as your toes, it's not a plie squat. You guys were working for 30 seconds, and then you've got 15 seconds to transition to the second move. Watch your knees, press your knees out, don't let the knees come in. Now try to go a little bit lower, so what you're working on is getting those hips back and weight in your heels. Nicely done. Weight comes down to your sides. Overhead press. So your feet are parallel. Bring the weight up to the shoulders. Let's start right here with palms facing the ears. Press it straight up and bring the weight down beside the ears. So in alignment with the chin, you can also Turn the weight out or forward at the top, depending on your shoulders. If you feel your shoulders, then just keep your palms facing your ears. Press up and down. So notice your core right there. Overhead, also, overhead press also strengthens your core. And I'll set that down. The second round, moving up in weight, grabbing my 12s. Holding my weights in my hands, turn your toes out slightly, and squat, push your feet down and lift up. Squat, lift up. Press your feet down, work at sinking down and lifting up. 
If you can get a little bit lower than parallel, that's all about mobility also in your lower back and your hips. Also ankles. One more. Give your arms a rest for just a moment right before we go into overhead press. So overhead press with the next level of weight, second round. Straight up and down. So now that the arms are going overhead, your heart rate's gonna increase with the limbs going up above the heart. If you want to turn the weight out or forward, press and down. So I want you to be very specific about the move and controlled. Up and down. Excellent work. The third round. Pyramiding up. Weight up to your shoulders. This is called strength hit. A little bit of cardio involved with the strength training. Without having much of a pause between each round. Press your feet down. Heels down. Come on. You can do it. Press. Lift. Come on. Excellent. Nice. Set the weight down. Relax. Relax the shoulders, the arms. Let's do it. So go ahead and grab the weight. Palms facing your ears. Straight up and down. Straight up. When you bring the weight down, stop right there. Keep the arms engaged, the shoulders engaged. Maybe you can turn the palms forward. Press. I'm all the way up to 15 pound weights. Press and then down. Excellent work. Set it down. Next weight. Give your arms a break just for a moment. Grab the weights. You can do it. Bring it up. Here we go. Squat and lift up. With heavier weight, slower and more controlled. Press your feet down, lift up. Come on. Nice. Don't collapse into the elbows. Excellent. And you're done. Weight down. Heavy overhead press. Pyramid down and weight if you need to. I'm just gonna get a few reps in with these 20 pound weights. Go ahead and pick it up. Carefully. Press straight up. And down. Up and down. Come on, press. And down, nice. Up. Just try. Come on, press, alternate one, alternate the other, oh, and you're done, nicely done. Set the weight down. Here's the final round. This is the finisher round. Pick up your weight. Go in the middle range weight. I'm gonna grab my 12s, and here, combination move. Squat to press overhead, to eke out those last reps you have in you. Lift the finisher, press down, up, come on, press, press, And you did it. You got that finisher round in and the four supersets. Let's move on to superset number two, 
reverse lunge, bicep curl. Get some water. And pick up your lightest weight. So step back. Three, two, one, step together. Three, two, one, step together. So lower the knee, three, two, one. And you're pitching your chest forward right there. Do it again. Three, two, one, step together. Three, two, one, step together. Nicely done. Hold the weights, these are light. You can keep them bicep curl. With bicep curls, you wanna have one foot just slightly back, other foot slightly forward. Staggered stance, relax your shoulders, elbows in, curl. So supinating grip, and then reach the weights beside your legs. Down, and then up from the side, right here, and lift. All right, there, up and down. Curl, down, curl, bring it down. <laughs> curl, down, so this is the easier round, right? Set it down, pyramid up. Hold the dumbbells in the center of the bars. I'll turn to the side this time. So look up here, slight bend in the elbows. Go three, two, one. Notice how my chest is slightly pitched forward. So that the work is in that forward leg. Don't lean back. It's not about the back leg, it's about that forward leg. And you wanna have that good foundation of your foot pressing down, including your toes. Think about how many, how many more muscles are engaged when you press your toes down, right? All right, so stagger your feet, supinating grip bicep curl right here. Curl and down, curl, down, curl. Soften your knee. This is a Easier round, we're gonna pyramid up. Supinate, elbows into your sides. Good job, come on, do it again. And you're done. Round three. Go ahead and relax for a moment. And now pick it up. Just those extra seconds, right? Okay, here we go. Turning this way, slight bend in the elbows. Three, two, one, step together. Three, two, one. Breaking a sweat up here. Nice, do it again. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Hold the weight strong. Three, two, one, step together. Excellent, one more. Nicely done. Set it down. Nope, bicep curls, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, not getting away with that. Stagger your stance, curl. Harder round. I've got 15s up here, look. You don't want to go too far into the bend of the elbows. Hold the muscles. Engaged, curl, down. So there's your biceps. When you reach down, control it. That's tricep engagement with the extension of the arms. And then bicep curl with flexion. Good job, okay. Now, give your arms a break. Pyramiding up, your heaviest weight. I've got my 20s. So slightly bend in the elbow. Go three, two, one. Watch your knee in the front. Three, two, one. Do it again. I'm just glad 
We got those heavy squats over with, right? Three, two, one. Not that this is, not that this is easy. Three, two, one. Other side. Three, two, one. And set it down. Okay. This is the heaviest set for bicep curls. Do what you can. Alternate whenever it's just way too hard. Shall we? Pick it up. Curl and then down. Stagger your feet. Curl, down. Curl, bring it down. Come on. Brute strength. Come on. Do it again. Come on. Maybe alternate right here. Hammer curl. Nice. Excellent work. And set your weights down. Now we're doing the combination, the finisher. I'm going to grab my, I'm going to grab my medium heavies, my 15s. So together, three, two, one, curl. Three, two, one. So this is the last round. Lunges and then a curl. So the finisher round, combining the moves to get those last reps in before we move in. Move on. Three, two, one. Last one, and you're done. Gently set the weights down. Get some water and wipe your sweat. So we got 30 seconds, guys. How you doing? Everybody okay? Are you staying with me? The next two moves, the next superset. Superset three, lateral lunge and a lat row. So pick up, let's start with your 12s, holding two of them. So reach, bring the weight up to the hips, step side reach. So here's the thing, bring your hips back, keep your knee from pushing out or pushing forward. So right there, <clears throat> and notice your feet. Don't let the foot lift up, foot flat. Nicely done. So I started with 12s. Okay, so double arm bent row. So stagger your feet, bend your knees, hinge forward, weight right here. So in front of the shin, bring the weight to the hips. Elbows close to the sides. So from the front, looks like this. Bring it up right there. Pump, abs in, reach reach. Come on. Bring it up. Up. You got it. Excellent. Stand up. How'd you do? Okay. So now I'm going to pyramid up to my 15s. Pyramid up. So alternating Side, remember, step out, bring the hips back. Step out, hips go back, and stand up. And I'm reaching for my foot, bring the weight up to the hip, reach, bring the weight up to the hip, reach, bring it up, reach, step together, reach, step together. One more, and you're done. Set it down for a moment. Are you sweating? Okay, double arm bent row. You should be up at an adequately heavy weight. Slightly bend your knee, or your stagger your feet, bend your knees, hinge forward, flat back. So you wanna work against gravity. Pull the weights to the sides. Up from the front, looks like this. Right there, pull. Good, abs in, you got it. Come on, work in your core, down, up, down, up, 
down, up. Excellent. Break. Heavier weight. Okay, ready? Step side, reach, bring it up. Step side with a heavier weight. B, very intentional about the move. So step out, reach, bring the weight up, and I'm pulling my weight, my elbow in, one side at a time. Four, the lat row, one at a time. So 120, I'll split it up. Let's split it up six and six, okay? So change your hand, stagger your feet, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Chain sides. Six, five, four, three, two, and then one. And that's call it, calling it, and you're done. So get those weights out of the way, carefully. Pyramid, a little lighter. Here we go, lateral lunge. Step out, so the fourth round of the superset. Lunge and reach, lunge, reach, lunge, reach. One more, excellent work. Lat row, two weights, double arm lat row, feet staggered, bend your knees, hinge forward, weight in front of the shin, Pull, pull, elbows to your sides. Pull your abs in, elbows in, right there. Come on, work those arms. Come on, up, up. Do it again, one more. Excellent. Set your weight down. And the final round, you cannot combine these two moves. They're two different in, in planes of action. So pyramid to your lighter weight to finish. Reach, step together. Remember, your knee is the most important thing. Send your hips back. Last round. of the two. Maybe. Now this is the last round. That's it. One more. And set that down. Grab water. And we are at the fourth and final superset, which is crunches with a dumbbell and then we'll do some Russian twists. So grab some water. Lie down. Grab your lightest weight. One, lower down, head on the floor, feet on the floor. Do a rib cage pullover, and then reach to your knees. Crunch, keep your feet on the floor. So what you want to do is lift your blades up, rise, Rather than curling your back, lift your blades off the floor. So lift, think rather than curl. Okay, so then come up, seated position. And what I want you to do is bring your legs together, 
knees together, toes flex, or feet flex, toes pointing up, shoulders back, lean back slightly, side, side. So you're reaching the dumbbell, keep your back flat, you're sitting or leaning back with a flat back right there. Core work right here, holding that posture as you move side to side. So we're working the obliques, the sides, keeping your knees together, toes up. Excellent. Set that on the floor. Grab the next weight. So I've got my 12. Lower down. If it's too heavy, then don't pyramid up. Stay where, where you feel comfortable, okay? So feet on the floor. Rib cage pull over, so over the head with straight arms, and then crunch, shoulder blades off the floor, reach, crunch, reach, and then crunch, reach, and crunch, reach overhead, crunch, sweep, up. And then come up, rush and twist, okay? So listen, you want to do these right by bringing your legs together. Keep your heels on the floor. Some people will do like this, but then you can get into trouble like that. So keep your heels down, flex your feet, lean back. I think you can get just as much out of it by keeping your heels down and pointing your toes up and reaching side to side. And you can go faster, and that's harder. Rather than lifting your heels, just go faster to make it more complicated or more difficult. <sighs> Nicely done. Lower down. Actually, next heavy weight. So I've got my 15 right here. Okay. So lower down. Ribcage pullover. Do not drop the weight. So hold it strongly. Reach up and over, and then crunch. You can do this. It's kind of like if you had two 12s, or sorry, two eights in each hand, and you did a pullover, and then crunched. This 115, easier to crunch, one weight, crunch, one more. And go ahead and come up. All right. So here. Flex your feet. So lean back, flat back. Hold the ends side to side. Legs together, knees together. Look forward. Flat back. If you go faster, that makes it harder. But keep your knees together. Try to make as little shimmy with the knees as possible. That's hard to do. They are going to move a little bit. You need to have a little play. But legs together. Excellent. All right. I'm going to stick with this 15-pound weight going overhead for the crunch and for the Russian twist. So hold the weight strong. Reach it up over your head. And then crunch, reach, crunch, reach, and crunch, reach, and crunch, reach, and crunch, reach, and crunch. And here's your Russian twist. Okay, flex your feet. Knees together. Hold the weight strong. Hold here. Lean back. Side, side. Side to side. Keep your knees together. Lean back, flat back. Look forward. Reach, reach, side to side. Excellent. 
Excellent work. Set this down. Grab your lighter weight, last round. Roll it back, we'll do half and half. Okay, you ready? So reach overhead. Let's do four crunches. Three, two, one more. Now lift all the way up. Sit up first, flex your feet, legs together. Lean back, Russian twist. Side, side, go quicker. Knees together. Look forward. Don't round your back. And you're done. And just like that, nicely done. Let's start off with stretching the back and the hip. Bring your right knee into your chest, left leg out straight. Rotate your right foot. Nicely done. Now bring the knee across the body to the other side. Reach your right arm over to the right, look over to the right. Relax your shoulders. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck. Relax the hips. And now lift up, piriformis stretch or supine pigeon. So right here, press your knee away. You can reach around and grab the back of your hamstring. Reach through and grab the hamstring. Pull the legs in. Press the knee away. And go ahead and flex your foot right there. Rotate the other foot and the other direction. And then hold. And let's change sides. Extend the right leg out, left knee in. Rotate your foot. Other way. Now hold, arm out to the left, knee across to the right, and look over to the left and breathe. And then lift up, lower back on the floor, ankle on the knee, reach through, grab, grab around the hamstring, Thread your, your other hand through, grab the hamstring, flex your foot, rotate the other foot. Use your elbow to push your knee away, other way. Excellent. And now release that, bring both knees into your chest. Happy baby. So grab the outside edges of your feet, arms on the inside of your legs and pull your feet down close to your shoulders just try that it's a great stretch for the lower back same thing as malasana or that yogi squat breathe while you're here you need to relax your shoulders relax the pelvis the hips lower back on the floor then bring your legs together and roll up 90-90, and then we'll come to a standing position and be done with the workout today. Okay, you did a great job. So a couple, couple more poses or stretches. Press your knee down, press your knee down. Now do this for me. Put your hand on the floor on the side, wherever. Then reach up and over and stretch, stretch, stretch the back. Reach, just reach as far as you can. Press your knees down. Maybe you can put your hand down on the floor and use the grip to pull and reach up and then lean forward. Maybe you can bring your forearms down or just keep your hands in front. Hold this for five, four, three, two. And then one. Walk your hands in. So each count was like five seconds. So it was like 25 seconds total time. Lift your knees up and over. So 30 seconds is a good amount of time to hold a stretch for. So flex your feet like this. Knees 90-90. And then face the direction of this forward leg. And press your knee down. 
Look forward. You okay? Good. All right, so now hand here. Reach up and over. Reach, 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 reach. And then maybe you just hold it right there in space, or maybe you touch down and then kind of pull. Drag your hand. Press your knees down. So holding that. And then release. So always make sure you release just like you do whenever you in add, intensify a stretch. Both are just as important as the other. All right, so now hands in front. Maybe you come down to here and breathe five breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Press your forearms down, legs down. Exhale. One more breath. And now face your mat. Knees on the ground, hands on the ground. Cat. Cow. Cat. Cow. Cat. Cat. And cow. One more time. Come up. Bring your knees off the mat. Step in. Forward fold. Slightly bend your knees. Walk your hands over to one side. Center. Other side. Center. Hands to your thighs with a flat back. Lift all the way up. Turn your toes out slightly. Bend your knees the same direction as your toes. Come down into a yogi squat. Elbows on the inside of your knees. Press your feet down. Look forward. Inhale. Exhale. Lift up your hips. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then lift all the way up. Inhale, reach up. You did it again. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again next time.